no idea what actually happened on your first touchdown. He's like, I got hit, and then I thought I threw it away, and then all of a sudden, everyone's celebrating. It took him like four minutes to finally figure out what happened. Um, <laughs> just from your perspective, what happened on that play, and just you know, how funny is that that Josh didn't even know? Yeah, I mean, so it was just another scramble drill, um, and we know how many incredible plays he's made on the move this year. Um, and so I was just kind of moving around in the back of the end zone, looking at him, um, and he threw the ball up, and I thought he was throwing it to me. Uh, and I was like, wait, I can get this one. Um, thankfully, caught it, celebrated, got to the sideline. I was like, thanks, man. Thanks for throwing it up, giving me a chance. And he was like, I meant to throw it away. <laughs> I was like, all right. But, uh, you know, it just worked out for us. Um, I mean, obviously, the plays that he's made all year is just incredible. I think his passer rating was, like, almost perfect tonight. It's insane. So it was fun. Uh, run defense and something that's been heavily criticized all season. You come in here tonight, 89 yards against the Patriots. Have, did that light a fire under you guys? Uh, definitely did. Uh, obviously, you know, it was something that we wanted to put emphasis towards. Uh, I mean, we worked hard all week. And, uh, you know, credit goes out to the guys, man. No, nobody ever folded. You know, no matter how much criticism we may have gotten, nobody ever folded, man. We knew what the, what the goal was. And, you know, we just kept chopping. Uh, we kept coming out of practice, man. Kept wanting to get better. Kept using our fundamentals, man, and you know we put emphasis towards it. And uh, just to see guys step up, to see guys, you know, take ownership in that, man. I mean, you know, me being a linebacker, me being the mic, man, it's, it's it's amazing just to see, you know, the guys just never put their heads down and you know keep chopping and keep getting better in that. Like through a touchdown that your quarterback was trying to throw away, does that change the mindset of you of like things are just falling our way tonight, things are going well, or does that mean anything at that point in the game? Um, I didn't really read much into it. Um, you know, a touchdown's a touchdown, whether you mean to throw it away or not. Um, but we always talk about starting fast. Um, and, you know, when we get the ball first, we want to go put seven on the board because um, we know what our defense is going to do, you know. Um, I think literally first in every single category this year, which is unbelievable. Um, so, yeah, we always just talk about starting fast, and thankfully we did that. Just to follow that, I mean, and this could be for both of you. When Micah makes that play, that interception, tracks it like that across the field. I mean, it seems like you guys are going to be dominant tonight no matter what. But that was pivotal um, where they're knocking on the door at that point, and all of a sudden the ball's back in your hands. What did that mean? Yeah, uh, that, that was a big time play for us defensively. I mean, Mike had been making those plays all year. I mean, that's, that's, that's why he's all pro. And uh, I mean, that was a big time play. I went up to him. I was like, bro, how did you make that? And he was like, I don't even know. I got to go see it. But uh, I mean, I mean, that's, that's, that's Michael, man. So. It, like it surprised me, but at the same time it didn't because I mean he always make those plays, man. He come up big for us and definitely was a momentum swing for us. Yeah, um, I reached the ball out and everything, which they tell us not to do. Um, really wanted that third one, but um, we had Tommy Doyle, Doyle score I think on the next play, um, so I told him I got tackled on purpose just for him. Exactly. Yeah, we'll take the assist on it. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, <laughs> you know, I had no idea, but uh, when you got a quarterback like Josh and a line that's protecting like they are, um, you know, our offense is able to do some special stuff. Was the offense just sort of clicking tonight? I mean, was there yeah, like a moment? Yeah, um, yeah, just on all cylinders. You know, we always talk about being two-dimensional. Um, the way Motor's been running the ball has been unbelievable. Um, the movement that the line's getting up front. Um, you know, it seems like we could have done anything we wanted to out there. Um, and that's just a testament to how hard everyone works, just doing their 111th. Um, and there's been a lot of movement on the line, you know, like injuries, guys having to switch positions mid-game. And um, so it truly is a testament to them and how hard they work day in and day out. Awesome. You're auditioning for an angry run this week or what? Man, I thought I was going to get past him. He, he tripped me up a little bit. Um, but I told you I had to throw I had to throw one of them this week. Good. Um, I mean this week or this this league just a week by week deal. Um, we've seen that this year. There's it's been a roller coaster, ups and downs. But um, you got to treat every game with a life of its own. You know, you can't just assume that we're going to go out and do the same thing next week. We got to put in the work every single day. Um, and we talk about being championship caliber, and that starts tomorrow with the film, correcting all the mistakes, um, 
and just enjoying the win, but at the same time uh, being ready to move on to the next opponent. Right. You guys, how do you guys view the locker room rivalry with the Patriots? There's obviously a lot of history between the franchises, but for you guys as players, is, it, is there anything extra special about going out there and doing that against New England? Yeah, I mean, it's you know, this is my fourth year now playing those guys, and I mean, you definitely feel it, you know, just in the locker room, just in the, the community and everything, just because based on, you know, the past, the history between Buffalo and, and, and New England. But, I mean, man, it, it's amazing. I mean, those are the type of games that you wish for. Those are the type of games that, you know, we grew up wanting to be in. And uh, just to have it, you know, playoff atmosphere, I mean, it made it, you know, 10 times better in front of our fans, man. It was loud out there. Uh, they bring it each and every game. So, I mean, it, it felt good, man. The energy always feel good. Justin, did it feel like the fans had any issue with Colt tonight from what you could say? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, we saw dudes shirtless. Um, I mean, that crowd always finds a way to get us going, um, no matter if we're up or down, playoffs or not. Um, best fan base in the world, not even close. Um, I mean, you can't really tell that big of a difference. Um, you know, if you really sat there and, you know, felt felt it, I'm sure there's a small difference. But um, with the way Josh threw it tonight, maybe we should play every game in the negative <laughs> 10, whatever it is, whatever it was tonight. Justin, Josh had more touchdowns than incomplete passes in this game, and obviously you've been very <laughs> complimentary of him today. But how would you describe his performance? <laughs> I mean, when you throw more touchdowns and incompletions, I think that just kind of speaks for itself. Um, I think he had like a, what was his pass rating? Like 158, 150, yeah. I mean, literally perfect. Um, so, I mean, there's not much to be said when you got stats like that. For me, um, all season long, everybody's been talking about how this defense can't stop the run, they can't tackle. Uh, how personal did you guys go out there and t you know, the one that shut New England's run game down today? Yeah, I mean, you know, criticism is part of the game, you know. So, you know, at, at, at the end of the day, man, we know, you know, what we stand for, you know, defensively, man. And like I said earlier, man, I mean, we take pride in that. You know, obviously, you know, the criticism is going to come. But it, it, it takes a real man to, you know, accept that. It takes a real man to, to, to prove people wrong. And I think that's the type of guys we got defensively, man, just guys that want to go out there and simply get the job done, man, no matter what people say. I mean, we know we got defensive. We know the type of guys that we have on that side of the ball and just on the, the whole team in general. So, I mean, you know, we take pride in that, man. And, you know, obviously a little fire for us. But, at the, you know, uh, at the end of the day, man, we just had to find a way to get the job done. And, you know, credit goes out to the guys, man. We put it, we, you know, we work hard. Um, you know, we stress that each and every week. And uh, we're still going to continue to stress it because it's still a long, long road ahead of us. Sweet. Thank you all.